What's up everyone? I hope you all are doing marvelous today. So I recently got a comment under my five ways to make your music sound gen video, which we tagged up there somewhere. And it was a comment asking about how drums and bass affect a gent tone. So rather than just typing out a long answer in the comments, I figured I'd make a video on this because not a lot of people talk about how the bass and drums affect the tone of a, a guitar in a full mix. So for modern metal, or gent in this case, it is a really, really rhythmic genre. So a lot of these elements are in the low end, which really helps drive home these really kind of erratic rhythms or just kind of odd time signatures and things like that. And so the best way to kind of explain this is kind of to work your way from like the top to the bottom in a sense. So guitars would be the ones sitting on the top, and then it'd be bass, and then it'd actually be the drums. More specifically, your kick drum. So with keeping these three levels in mind, a lot of guitar tones are made to be very present and kind of in your face because that's what your ears are really gonna hear the most. So to talk about this today, I'll be using some music I wrote for one of my previous videos, and that kind of sounds like this. So I'm going to solo these guitars so you can kind of hear them. What you're going to kind of notice is that they kind of lack the kind of heaviness and also some kind of punch. And we're going to talk more about that kind of later. Now, the reason they kind of lack the heaviness or just kind of a little bit more low end kind of brings us into the next level of this weird pyramid thing we're kind of doing. Um, and that is bass. So the bass in a mix is generally holding down the low end and Periphery kind of chases this idea the best and that is they really want it to sound like one with the guitar so it's just kind of one wall of sound. And so I've been kind of chasing that idea as well really trying to make the bass really really sit as well as it can with the guitar. So both of those together kind of sound like this. And so you, now you're really hearing a lot more of this kind of heaviness, I guess, but really it's just adding in more low end to that. And the way we're kind of making this sit within this mix to kind of create this heavier gent tone is I'm actually cutting a lot of the low end off the guitar here. It's almost up to 120 hertz. And that's so it's kind of really out of the way of the bass, so that bass can really come through there. Now, moving on to the last aspect, which would be the drums, and more particularly the kick drum, which really adds the punchiness to like a gent tone. So again, with our levels here, it's guitars, bass, and then kick drum. The kick drum is generally taking up the like 80 to like 20 kind of range. So it's sitting below the bass now. And that's what really adds in like a punch to kind of a mix. Now this is particularly important for modern metal because this punch actually adds in more kind of articulation for these rhythms. And so that's very, very important for this kind of music. And so if we wanted the bass to kind of sit really well with the guitars, we really want the kick drum to sit really, really well with the bass. Because when you start messing with these low frequencies, a lot of things can get out of control really, really quick and really kind of kill a mix. Or in this case, this tone we're kind of going for. And so since the bass and kick drum sometimes occupy the same frequencies or they overlap a bunch, the way we can kind of get around this is with a side chain. And so on my mix here for the bass, I have a compressor sidechained to the kick. And so what this means, anytime the kick actually plays, it ducks the bass by like 3 dB. So the kick drum comes out very articulated this way. And I have the release set pretty short here. So the bass that's filling on that low end comes right back in very, very quickly. So really all you're kind of getting out of this technique is that punch or articulation from the kick drum. So adding back in the drums here with the guitar and bass, you're gonna see that there's a lot more punch now to this mix. So a lot of the times when people chase these like gent tones online, they're really only getting like the um, first level of what we kind of talked about, 
which is just that rhythm kind of guitar tone. So as you can see, the bass and also the kick from drums really add a lot to that kind of tone, which is really popularized now in modern metal. So I hope you all found this video helpful and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.